Hi guys. So this week, in addition to finishing up Her Land by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, I have one more assignment for you, and that's listening to the radio play um, that you'll find at the bottom of this play posit lecture. And the radio play is of a short story written um, by uh, in 1976 by James Tiptree Jr. called Houston, Houston, Do You Read? And James Tiptree Jr. is the pen name of Alice Sheldon. Google Alice Sheldon. It's like the most interesting person ever. Um, no, really, she is, uh, she's just a, a wild, wild child. So um, Alice Sheldon has this alter ego, James Tiptree Jr., Jr. and he wrote, um, and in that, as that alter ego, she wrote, wrote this story. She also has another pen name, Rakuna Sheldon. Um, and there's a lot to say about her, but I won't say it now. I think the most interesting thing is to just listen to the story. You may also um, opt to read it. That's another possibility for you. If you do read the story, you'll notice how much the it sounds like it's being written by a man. It has a man's voice. The, and it's told from a, just as Herland is told in the voice of the protagonist, um, Van, this this uh, story is told by 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 a character Lor um, Lorimer, and it's very easy to believe that a man and not a woman wrote the words about um, uh, that that the character speaks. Um, so let's see what else did I want you to know about it? Okay, obviously it's an updating of Gilman's Herland. It starts with three male visitors and all males who come to an all male uh, all female society. The context is actually perfect for the 1970s. Instead of exploring an unnamed jungle area in Central or South America and the early 20th century, which is something people would have done then, here in the late, um, um, in the late 20th century, uh, the men are exploring a new frontier, a la Star Trek, they're out in space. And so I'm just gonna read you a little bit of my notes here. Uh, the men are astronauts, they find themselves lost in space, their equipment is damaged, and they've gone through a solar flare. When they try to contact NASA headquarters, as suggested by the title, um, they first they get no response, and then they hear this woman saying, Judy, what are you doing on this band? Judy, is that you? Right? So when they hear this woman's voice, they're thinking, what? And it, so that's the, the, the setup. And so the three guys are astronauts, and the women they encounter are, um, are astronauts as well, but from the future, from the men's future. Um, and just as in her land, it's a feminist separatist novel. But we get, in addition to the three male travelers who have the three different, you know, stereotypical male reactions to an all-woman society, we also get a lot of, um, a lot of technology a lot of biotechnology, right? There's some really interesting things going on. And uh, the question about how ethically the men behave, how ethically the women's, how ethical the women's society is, there's a lot here. It's gonna take you, I think the, it's almost like 40 minutes or an hour, I forget, but it's a fairly long time to listen to it. And then you'll come back to this podcast. I mean, to this play path, ah, play pause it. I'm not gonna re-record for that mistake. Anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, I hope you enjoy the story. It's, uh, it's trippy. It's like even more trippy than Herland. How do you like that? So, I right, enjoy. Bye-bye.